Wilson are entering the quadrangle. My first day of medical school, it was our first day of anatomy. And I remember walking into the classroom before we headed up to the cadaver lab. And the Conroys were up there on stage telling us about how the day would go. And I remember that they also told us that this would be the very first patient that we encountered throughout medical school. I remember being very nervous about that. But after we went up there and I met my teammates and then I met my cadaver, I remember having this wave of calm and thankfulness. It's really quite impressive, I think, how much we learned in these last four years. I think one of the biggest things that I learned was to, was being confident in going into new situations that I don't know how to do yet and saying, I can do it, I'll figure it out, and just repeatedly doing that throughout third year. I think my focus throughout, you know, my now 20 years of schooling has been very kind of like what can I learn and what what is there to teach me. Throughout third year, I began to see that the focus has shifted. I started to think more, what can I bring to the table? What can I do to help the team? And what can I do to help the patients? What I realized is, is I've always been an optimist. I've always been like a glass half full type of person. Um, and everybody in medical school sees things that challenge that perception of humanity. I saw a lot of the bad things as a medical student, but I also saw a lot of great things. So I, I came in as a hopeful and idealistic person. And I'm really thrilled to be leaving medical school as a hopeful and idealistic person. Students leaving us with the letters MD after their name have the potential. These students have the potential to advance human health in a way that is direct and personal to those they serve. They carry a special responsibility and it is a significant responsibility indeed. I just got my college acceptance envelope. I was really excited. I ran down the stairs. I was super excited about it. But my dad looked at me and he was like, oh, that's a, that's a good first step. And that has always stuck with me. I'm excited about where, I'm, where we're going for residency. I'm excited about what's ahead. While being excited, I just keep in the back of my head that it's, it's just the next, it's a good next step. And we just keep on going, we keep on getting better. It's now time for each of you to go on from here to find your calling and to fulfill it always with compassion. Congratulations, graduates of 2017.